So I've got two bivvy bags here. The one on the left in DPM I just bought off the car boot. I got it for a fiver, five pounds, because there's a problem. The problem is on the draw toddle here. And a lot of you guys have had this problem as well, where the face port doesn't tighten up, no matter how much you pull on it. This had that problem. That's been fixed now. So you've seen the before, this is the after. Just keep pulling and pulling. As you can see, I can move all the rucked area here right up to make a very small face port there. And welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor and we want to rectify a problem, it's quite a common problem and I haven't had a bivvy bag with this problem to show you how to fix it until now. So I bought a cheap bivvy bag, here it is on my pack, this one is in DPM. This is what it's meant to do, is you can draw it all the way until there's nothing there just a tiny face hole and a lot of you have been reporting that it is sticking and it just will not draw up so let's have a look at this bivvy bag here that has this issue let's just take my pad out i use both an air pad there and a very light foam to protect it but you obviously you can just use one or the other. So here's mine, it's in DPM. If we come to the draw toddle, try and toddle it up. It's stuck well below where it's meant to be. And I can't get that tiny little gap like that that I need. So we're gonna fix that. I'll just show you a quick close up. Here's where the cord comes out. There's the draw toddle. No matter how much I pull on the draw toddle here, it's bunched up the material and will not surpass any further than a couple of inches there. There, that's got fast. There's all the puckered material. And no matter how much I pull with my right hand here, it's all puckered, it will not tighten up. So if you've got that problem, we're gonna fix it very, very simply. Before we move on to how to fix this, you need to check all the way around the outer rim where that cord goes and just check to see if the tailor or the seamstress hasn't accidentally run the sewing machine over the actual cord. So inspect all the way around. And if that's the case, you just need to get um, your seam ripper and take it, them couple of stitches out. But on this one, that's not the issue. She hasn't snagged the actual cord with the sewing machine. So let's see if I can get you close up. This camera, not very good at doing close-ups. I haven't got the lens for it, so I'll try my best to explain and I'll get as close as I can. This is the actual channel where this cord runs through. Now you can see just under my finger is a row of stitching there. So it's got a row of stitching holding the Gore-Tex to this webbing sleeve and then another row of stitching here at the top of my finger holding the cord where that goes and no matter how much I pull this cord you can see it's puckering up there when it shouldn't be so I've just made a start on this side and all I've done is start removing that row of stitching there. Not the one connecting the Gore-Tex 
to the hem or the sleeve but just above my thumbnail there halfway up that row of stitching that needs removing so I've already made a start removing from there to there and I will finish it off before the end of the video and show you but that's the fix so let me just get this cord here and start drawing it up you can see it's already drawing it up without puckering and I've got ooh, maybe five inches there without it puckering and that's because here I haven't removed that stitch in yet so let's go and get ourselves a seam ripper and remove the rest of those stitches Remember this camera doesn't do close-ups, I haven't got a close-up lens, so I'm going to do my best to explain that I'm just putting this seam ripper under the first little stitch and breaking it. And I need to go all the way around. Let's break that one as well. I'm just going to make a start on it here. And the one next to it I can either break or just lift the thread out. So I'm going to try lifting each thread out. So I broke it once, go to the next thread and lift, lift it out. And this is going to be quite time consuming. But this is the fix. I'll try and get a bit closer. No, I've gone out of focus. I haven't got the right lens, but hopefully it's enough for you to know what the fix is. Come into the next stitch. Put your seam ripper under and lift this thread out. And I need to go all the way around doing that. Let's see if I can get that thread between my thumb there. Still connected here to that little sleeve. Now if you haven't got a seam ripper, they're only about one or two pounds from a supermarket. Or you can start off with a little razor blade or a knife and just find something anything sharp enough just to get under your next stitch let's get this at a proper distance so you're not all blurry now this is going to take a while to do so set yourself some time aside do it while the TV's on put this project on your knee and then that way it doesn't feel like a chore you can carry on doing this at your own leisure like I said just do it while you watch TV if you set time aside on a Sunday to do something like this it, you'll never get it done you'll always put the job off so you could actually do this job right now while you're watching YouTube. Go get your project, do it now. Don't, don't put it off. Because this is a problem that has occurred and been asked for on more than one occasion. And I know exactly what the problem was you were talking about. I just didn't have the bivvy bag with this problem until last weekend when I bought this one off a flea market car boot sale for five quid and it's in great order other than this issue and the guy who sold it me 
didn't know how to fix this issue which is why I got it so cheap you can pay up to 25 30 quid for a second hand bivvy like this the fix is for free and I paid a fiver and got 25 quid's worth of bivvy so saved myself 20 quid that was three quid which has always been in my sewing box anyway and I should imagine this little task is going to take maybe 40 minutes maybe an hour which is why I say just do it while you watch YouTube while you watch TV now this is going to take that amount of time I should imagine and it's one of them jobs that is going to pay dividend at the end if you have this problem so that's what we'll do and we'll see how we're getting on but I've managed to free up the first maybe seven inches so let's see already what the effects are I started here by the draw toddle I freed up that and I've come round to here where my thumb is I've removed that let's see what happens so far when I toddle up there you go hasn't bunched up you just remove that row of stitching okay there's my cord let's carry on Five minutes later. Okay, that's all the stitching that's come out now, all the way around. Now it's still going to be a little bit tight because you need to keep repeating the motion of tightening and loosening. But look at it already. That is the face hole already. It's all able to draw up a lot better. Now what I want to keep doing when it starts getting stuck is just pull some of that pucker in to the top of the hood where your forehead would be and again keep pulling and move where it's puckering to where the forehead would be. Now you're going to have to keep doing this motion until it's all free but already it's a lot better. You can see I can draw that in quite a way already. That's about the size of your face there and already a lot better. So where it's puckering here, bring that puckering up to the top where your forehead is and keep repeating this motion of tightening it and loosening it and getting this fabric really worked in. There's the forehead, let's get all this puckering up to that end. Now this is ready to go, I'd be happy going out on this tonight, I can live with this. You can see it already, it makes a tight face port. But I'm going to work on this by loosening it and tightening it repeatedly. And at this point if you want a handful of mild detergent or fabric softener, over this that might help fabric conditioner a little handful rub it through that cord
me out of the way and get a bit more cord from the left hand side where it's not quite wet up enough. Let's do it from here. Right here at the top where it's snagging I've already done the bottom bit just keep moving the fabric up and around and wet up the cord move the puckered fabric up and around so that bit hasn't been wetted up but now it is Keep moving it around. And I've got a jam here, so move that out of the way so I can access the cord to it, which is here. Wet that up, but already this, this is good to go. This is just going to help it along. So now this bivvy here in DPM works as good as this. eBay listing, I think you're going to find these somewhere around 25 quid. For, you know, uh, maybe going up to 40 for a new one. I got this on the car boot for five UK pounds just because it wouldn't tighten up. Someone dropped 20 quid off the value. 45 minutes work Cost next to nothing to do So I have saved myself a good 20 quid there. So a good find car boot find So I've got a collection of these in all different colors that is going into my DPM pack This is going into my Berg house and I've got another that goes in my day pack just in case there you go there's the fix just 40 50 minutes of your time a bit of know-how and if you've already got a bivy like this you could fix it right now within the next hour and be out tonight or alternatively look out for bivvies that have this problem because you'll get them cheap and the fix is simple so until next time take care and I'll see you out there Happy trails.